In this episode, we're going to enhance the canvas filter effect in the GIMP. It's a really good effect, and it does make the image look like it's on canvas. But a real canvas painting will have a texture to it, not just the canvas texture, but because you, you're, you're using paint to create the texture, you're adding layer upon layer of paint to create your image, and the paint itself will add a texture to the canvas. Not just that waffle pattern that you get from the canvas, but the paint itself will add a texture. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to enhance the stock canvas filter that comes with GIMP. All right, so I've got GIMP open. Let's go ahead and open the photo that we want to use. Okay, so here's the photo we're going to use. And I want to open up two copies of it so that you guys will be able to see, you know, before and after uh, on this image. Okay, so on the second one we got open, the first thing that we're going to do before we apply our canvas effect is we're going to duplicate this image. And we're going we're gonna to work on this top layer uh, copy of our image. And we're going to rename this. We're going to name it Bump Map. We're going to use a Bump Map to enhance the, the texture of the image before we apply the canvas filter. All right, so now that we have that done, I want to go in. We want to go into Colors. And we want to desaturate this image so that it's a grayscale version of it. All right, and then we need to take our bump map image, which is now a grayscale version, and we need to lower it because we're going to be working on the top image, and we're going to hide it as well. We don't, we don't need to see it anymore. All right, so I've got my color version of the image on my top layer now. I've got my bump map on the bottom, and I've got it hidden. So now I'm going to right-click. I'm going to go into filters and I'm going to go into map and I'm going to select bump map at the top. Now right here you know you've got your presets and then you've got your aux input and this is this is the section that we want to use. We want to go into our um, image right here. I've got highlighted right here on top and you see it shows our color layer and it shows our bump map layer. So I'm going to double click my bump map layer. And that's what we're, that is the, the grayscale image is what we're going to use to create our bump map. Okay, so we've got it on preview. We've got compensate selected because bump map will actually dark, darken the image. And so when you have that selected, compensate selected, it will, it will increase the lighting on the image to, to overcome that darkening that the bump map creates. Now, the type of bump map that I found looks the best is sinusoidal this bottom uh, version right here. Now the depth, I'm going to set the depth for 4 and I'm not going to use any offset and your water level, what this is, the water level is for like if you're, if you're creating a bump map but the bump map image has a transparency section in it, it treats that transparency as though it was black in the image rather than transparent. So you can adjust how that works but we don't have any transparent portions of this image and the ambient lighting factor is another way to compensate for the darkening of the image if you see if I raise it pull it all the way up it increases the lighting if I leave it all the way down then um, it doesn't compensate but I already have compensation selected so I like the way that looks without any ambient lighting factor in it what I would concern myself with is the elevation, which is the lighter parts of the image, how high they were going to look, and the depth is how far back that the dark parts of the image are going to look. So if we, if we increase our depth, and you, you see how much further back it pushes the darker parts of the image, you know, the shadows, the, the darker parts of the texture, 
So I find that somewhere between four and six usually works out very well for my purposes. All right, I think that looks good at five. Let's try six. Six kind of six kind of starts to starts to distort in the image a little bit too much. So I would select five or four. I think I'm going to go with five. And then your elevation. You know, this is how much how high the the light areas are going to be. You can see the elevation when I bring it all the way down. I mean, the elevate the elevation is it's almost it's like it's pushed backwards. So you want to give it a, you want to give it a texture, but you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to start distorting the image. So I think that around 35 to 40. Let's set it for 40. I'm going to enter that in here. 40. I'm going to set set that at 40. Maybe a little bit lower. Let's let's see if we can set it at um, 30. No, that's too much. Let's go with 50. That's better. Okay, so we've got it set at 50. And then play around with your azimuth. That's basically the light direction. And that can also distort your image, you know, too much, too much shadow, too, too much of the bump on the bump map. So get it set to where you like it just by adjusting the direction in which the light is coming from. And I think I like that right there. It's, I've got a lot of texture to the image, but it's not distorting it. That, and that's the key. Get it, get it to the point to where it adds texture to the image, but it's not distorting the image. So if I uncheck my preview here, okay, so now you can see the difference, right? This is without the bump map applied, and then I select preview, and now you can see how much texture it's adding to the image, especially the vegetation, the face. Okay, so let's move our azimuth a little bit more. Let's try to smooth that out a little bit more. Maybe cut our depth down to four. And now let's do a preview of that. Still not happy with the azimuth here. Let's see. Or, or the elevation, excuse me. Let's put our elevation back to 50. And let's mess with the azimuth again a little bit. I was moving the wrong slider. Okay, I think that looks good. Now let's look at our preview. Okay, that's without the with the bump map, without the bump map applied, with the bump map applied. Now let's change our elevation a little bit more. Let's move it up the let's move it up to sixty. You just have to kind of tweak these settings until you get it to where it looks the best. I think I like that. All right, let's see. Yeah, so that's added quite a bit of texture to the image. It's increased the shadows in the image. But it's not distorting it too much. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's go ahead and select OK. Now that we have our texture applied to, you know, our virtual canvas here, so that the paint, when the paint is applied, it adds a texture to the substrate. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so now let's go in to, to filters and go into artistic and apply canvas. And then if I uncheck the preview, you see the difference. Now it looks a lot more like an actual canvas painting rather than a photo. And it also, the bump map adds depth to the canvas, not just the waffle pattern, but it adds depth to the canvas from all of the vegetation, everything that's in the image. So now if we look at our um, original image, there's our original photograph. There it is applied with our bump map and our canvas texture. So if we go to our original image and all we do is go into filters, go into artistic, and we apply canvas with the same settings that we had that we applied to our, our bump map version. And we select OK. Now, take a look at that image. That was is just with the canvas filter applied. 
and then look at the one with the with the bump map and the canvas filter applied and you see the difference you see the difference in the texture between the two even look look at the vegetation so that gives you a much more realistic oil painting effect you know on canvas as opposed to just using the canvas filter itself all right so we've improved our canvas filter it looks much much more realistic that's a wrap on this episode I'll be publishing many more episodes. Stay tuned, and I will see you in the next one.